how to use that chip on your shoulder to supersize and grow your business, or at least stay in the game. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, and of course our idiom today is chip on your shoulder. Do you have a chip on your shoulder? Have you ever had a chip on your shoulder? Of course I have. A lot of times we've all had an experience where we've had a chip on your shoulder. Now where does this idiom come from? Of course, back in the early 1800s, boys would, and I'm gonna say boys because I don't think men ever did this, but it started out as a game where boys would put either a piece of wood or a stone on their shoulder, not usually a chip, but chips work too, and they're tasty as well. <laughs> Thankfully, my son bought chips, otherwise I don't usually have them in the house. It's just in time for this little video. But we have a chip on the shoulder, and one of the boys, if a, they would put it on their shoulder, and if another boy dared to knock that chip off, it meant that the two were going to fight. And they would, of course, then fight, beat each other up, get all bloody, and, and uh, one of them would probably go home crying, or one of them would go to the hospital, or, or whatever, or the fight would be broken up. But the point was that it became a game and the expression chip on your shoulder meant to be quarrelsome or rude or to want to pick a fight, to be ready to fight, to be to be aggressive, right? It was a sign of being aggressive. Now, I'm not ever going to contend that anyone should be aggressive, rude, or want to pick a fight in their business, but I am going to contend that you want to fight for your business right now. No matter what type of situation you're in right now, whether your business is smoking hot because you're so busy ramping up, changing, growing to meet the, the continuing demand to support people in whatever business that you've got, or you find yourself shut down and stalled right now because your business has been shut down by the government, but things are starting to open up and free up. I was on a, a call with my mom and the family last night for my, one of my sister's birthdays, and Texas is starting to open up. I guess today they're opening up all kinds of things, some restaurants at 25% and a lot of businesses. In the county that she's in, in Texas, they have had zero cases of COVID, none. So they're starting to open up her county and, and spot places around the state. I think other states are gonna follow suit and maybe other states have already started to open things up. We all heard about the Georgia hairs cutting or something. So know that it's coming that it, and that if we're sitting there feeling like a victim or feeling resentful or feeling jealous or feeling upset um, or helpless or frozen, we're gonna be in trouble because as things start opening up, every industry, every business is gonna require change right we're not going back to where we were what I don't even know how many days ago now about a month ago a month and a half ago a month and a half ago now Wow however long it's been I've done a, a month long uh, challenge so it's been definitely over a month so let's say a month and a half 45 days how many ever days it's been we're not going back there none of our businesses will ever be the same most of our industries will never be the same so if we're waiting for things to go back to normal, we're in big, big trouble, especially as business owners. People are looking to us to lead and set the example, to be the role models of, of how we need to move forward in this new world. And we need to first decide that for ourselves and then start taking steps and, and moving toward that. Um, so how do you do that? Number one, you decide that no matter what, you're gonna figure it out. Number two, you start figuring it out, right? It could be as simple as that. Decide and start taking action. Decide, start taking action to move you toward what you want. Now, as business owners, some of us know what we want, some of us don't know what we want. Some of us change our mind all the time. But the first step is to know what you want, where you're going, and how you want your business to look and operate and be going forward. Then just start taking steps to put that in place. We know how to plan, we know how to organize, we know how to uh, align and uh, be resourceful. We need to do all those things right now to make sure that we stay in the game, to make sure our businesses survive this. I am seeing, and we knew this would come, so many businesses just just shuttering up and, and throwing in the towel. So many restaurants, so many different businesses just saying, we're done, we're not gonna, we're not gonna move forward. And that is an absolute positive you know, viable option, and viable choice. If it's a business that you don't love, it's, it's if it's something that doesn't feel right, because this has been a great opportunity to reassess our priorities, to decide what's important to us. And if the business that you're running, and I've had to do this before the pandemic, on several occasions, I've had to look at my life and say, oh my God, this business is sucking my soul out. I have to stop doing it. And I had to change direction and stop doing certain type of businesses in, in certain industries because they didn't, they just didn't feel right to me. What was required of me to make those businesses successful 
just didn't feel right. They're right for millions of other people, but they weren't right for me. And what matters is how does your business make you feel? How do you positively, and I'm gonna say, we're only talking about positively impacting people, businesses. How does your business impact and help other people? And if you don't feel good helping the people that you're helping, find other people to help with your skills and abilities because there's a lot of, there's, you know, there's billions of people on the planet. There's plenty of people for you to help that will, will make you feel good, will make your heart sing and your soul sing and your mind sing and will make you feel like you're making the impact that you want to make on the world. So get that chip off your shoulder. I say eat that chip one bite at a time. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, just hit me up and ask in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where did it come from? How can you apply it to your life right now? Have a great day, and I will, of course, catch you tomorrow. But don't choke on this chip. Bye.